friends. Monster. You know what the fuck with the kid. I'm a monster. My jail brother stuck with a bed. I'm a monster. Everything I do is precise. I'm a monster. Lazy ends are ruin your life. I'm a monster. You know what the fuck with the kid. I'm a monster. My jail brother stuck with a bed. I'm a monster. Everything I do is precise. I'm a monster. Lazy ends are ruin your life. Yeah. You Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Slamma. Tonight we're going to have a special edition of Slamma where we're going to give you some information on the upcoming Fight to Win Monsters Ball Fight Card. This show takes place at the National Western Complex, also known as the Fight to Win Center, and it's going to have two title fights that night. It's on Friday, November 2nd, and it's another fantastic card put together by the Fight to Win team. So let's give you some information on some of these amateur fights as well as the pro fights. The first fight of the night is going to be a 155-pound amateur kickboxing fight with Sean Madden, who's 1-0 from Easton's Training Center, taking on Jamie Schoen, who's making his debut from Rough House MMA. The next fight, we're going to have another amateur fight with Daniel Miranda from Zagano Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, taking on Cody Moore, heading up north from Fusebox MMA. Both are making their MMA debut. After that, you'll see a middleweight amateur fight featuring Jeremiah Talley from Easton's Training Center taking on Ralph Cabral coming down from Wyoming MMA. Now let's move down a weight class to the welterweights. We'll see a fight between Pat Garland from High Altitude MMA and Sean Cook from Combat Zone. Both fighters are 0-1 as amateurs, so as I always like to say, Oh, has got to go. One of these guys is probably going to win this fight and have a win on their record. <clears throat> so next we got welterweight. At welterweight, we got John Zimbala, who's 1-0, taking on John Ness from Stars Training Center. Both a couple of young amateurs. going to be a good fight as well. Moving down to the lighter side of things, we've got some 145-pounders in there with long low from Zingano, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, coming off an impressive second-round submission win. And he's taking on Marquise McKnight from Victory MMA, coming, coming off a title fight loss at Kickdown 100. After that fight, we're going to move back up to the welterweights with Peter Straub from Easton Training Center. Straub is 1-0, and he's taking on Steve Stickler from Rough House, from Rough House MMA. Who is one and one? Now we have a lightweight belt be bout between Matt Johnson from Colorado Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Team Wildman versus Andrew Caters from Train Fight Win. Johnson is coming off a split decision win, and Caters is coming off a third round rest stoppage at Fight to Win Mardi Gras Ball. So let's get into the two title fights that we have going on that night. And the first title fight is a welterweight fight between Ronnie B. Hill and Justin Moss. B Hill is 3-0, which all his victories are by finish, and two of them are actually under one minute, which is pretty impressive. He's taking on Justin Moss, who's 3-1 and, and coming off the first loss of his career. I think that's going to be a pretty good fight to start off these two title fights that we got. In the second title fight, it's a middleweight bout between Don Westman and Nick Brown. Westman is 2-0 and, and the current kickdown MMA light heavyweight champion. And he's taking on Nick Brown, who is a fight to win regular and coming off a loss to Cannon Grigsby, fight to win the rise. So the next fight is going to be the co-main event, and that's going to be Tito Solis, Solis sorry, from Grudge Training Center, taking on Michael Matthews from Freedom, Freedom Fighters. Solis is 5-0 as an amateur, was 5-0 as an amateur, and a local fan favorite. Matthews is coming off an impressive 35 second submission in his last fight. And now we're going to go straight into the main event, our, the main event here with Josh Goldberger from Colorado Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and he's taking on Ian Bird from Grudge Training Center. Goldberger is coming off a triangle choke victory at Kickdown 102, and he did it in one minute and one second in the first round. And he's taking on Ian Bird, who's a very exciting local fighter. And the last time we seen him fight at a fight to win show, he rocked his opponent and then proceeded to submit him in 1 minute and 39 seconds. This is an action-packed card, something we have come, come very accustomed to on the local fight scene from fight to win. They always seem to deliver and put on great shows, 
And if you want to go to one of these shows, you're probably going to have yourself a good time. So what you're going to want to do is probably get on Facebook or try and get in contact with some of the local fighters and try and get your tickets from them. If you don't know any of the local fighters or are friends with them on Facebook, go to King Supers. You can get your tickets there. You can also get your tickets at National Western Complex where the event is being held. I do recommend buying tickets from the fighters because they get a cut of the proceeds. The tickets are going to vary from $30 to $50. I got all my information tonight from MMA.TV. Um, this is going to be one hell of a show. I definitely like going to these local shows that Fight to Win from puts on. You'll see Big Daddy Chris there, uh, probably giving live updates from the show. So I hope you enjoyed this real quick little breakdown of what you get from Fight to Win promotions. You guys have a good good evening. Thanks for watching the episode.